fourth graders. Today is Tuesday, January 12th, and we are going to get started right away because you kind of have quite a few assignments today. Your first one is your Tuesday word study practice. Uh, kind of like a spelling test. Someone's going to read your words to you, uh, so cut on the dotted line and get ready to write them. Um, that's what you need to do first. Next is... You're building automat automaticity. I can never say this word. Uh, this one that your classroom teacher assigned, you are going to underline the L-E at the end of every single word. Okay? So go through and underline the L-E. They all end with it. Just go through and underline all of it. Uh, and then try to read your words. So we got fable, little. All those L-E's go ul together. Okay? That is your next task. And then text structure. This is just a chart for you to reference if you need more help about different text structures. So like cause and effect, compare and contrast, sequence, problem and solution, and description. Um, so this is a reference. I'm sure your classroom teacher's video went over this, but I just wanted to show it to you as something that you need to do. Now, your reading activity is Pennywise. Um, this is the same one that your classroom teacher assigned. I'm going to read it and go through the questions with you. I might not answer all of them with you, but we'll do a couple together. So we're going to do this, and then we just need to do the writing. Same thing that your teacher assigned, but I'll just review it again. So if you've already finished both of these and finished everything else, then you're good to go. You don't need to finish watching the rest of this video. If not, you can hang on with me and we'll do some of it together. Okay, I'm going to turn my camera so you can see the work and we'll get going. Okay, I'll move it closer when we get to the questions. So Pennywise, Dan looks sadly out the window at the pouring rain. What a way to spend a Saturday morning, he thought, stuck inside with nothing to do. You look bored, Dan, said his mother. I have a job for you that I think you will like. What is it? asked Dan. See all those pennies in the big jar in the kitchen, asked his mom. Dan nodded his head. Well, I would like you to roll up the pennies and paper. When we Then we can take them to the bank and get cash for them. Why can't we just bring the jar to the bank and get cash for them, Dan asked. Dan's father laughed. The bank won't take them unless they're rolled up. I'll tell you what, Dan, you roll all those pennies and you get to keep half of the money. That sounded good to Dan, so he went right to work. First, he poured the pennies into the, from the jar onto the kitchen table. Then he got the penny rolls. He made neat stacks of ten pennies each. That when he found some old rare ones, he put them aside for his collection. He also found several foreign coins mixed in with the pennies. He put them aside, too. Finally, Dan was finished. That's a lot of pennies, said his mother. Forty rolls, said Dan proudly. That's twenty dollars. Dan's father helped him put all the rolls into a bag. They drove down to the nearest bank. The bank teller smiled when he saw Dan take the rolls out. Someone has been busy rolling pennies, said the teller. How would you like your money, he asked after quickly counting the rolls. Give it to us in $10 bills, please, said Dan's father. Sure thing, replied the teller, who handed Dan's father two $10 bills. His father turned to Dan and handed him one of the two, one of the tens. That's for you, he said. Dan stared at the ten. Wow, he cried. That's the most money I've ever earned. Well, let's go spend some of it, said his dad. They drove to the local ice cream shop and bought two double scoop cones. Tell me, Dad, said Dan as he ate his ice cream. How long do you think it'll take to fill the jar with pennies again? <laughs> he wants to earn some more money. It'll take a while, said his father with a grin. But when it's full, you'll get to roll the pennies. That's all I wanted to know. So that is our story. I'm going to move it closer so you can see these a little bit better. And I'm going to refocus it. It just has not been focusing well today. I'm so sorry. So our first five questions are cause and effect. Why does Dan's mother ask him to roll pennies? A, to clean up the kitchen. B, to get cash from the pennies from the bank. 
C, to find rare coins, or D, to stop him from bothering her. So think back to the beginning. Um, you look bored. I have a job for you to do. He is stuck with nothing to do. So what are they going to do? Pick which one you think fits best. Two, why do you think that the bank won't take the pennies in the jar as they are? A, because they don't want the jar. B, because they don't have use for the pennies. C, because they don't want to have to count all the pennies. Or D, because the tellers can't count. If they work at a bank, do you think they can count? So pick which one you think is best. Three. What happens as a result of Dan's bringing the pennies to the bank? So because he did this, what's he get? A, he gets half the cash from the pennies. B, he gets all the cash from the pennies. C, he gets to roll more pennies. Or D, he makes friends with the teller. Four. What effect does the sight of the penny rolls have on the bank teller? So when the bank teller sees these penny rolls, what happens? A, he closes for the day. He shuts down the whole bank. He's like, we're done. Does that happen? B, he frowns knowing he has to count them. So is he angry or upset? C, he smiles at Dan, happy for him. Or D, he directs Dan to the coin machine. Did that happen? So which one fits best? Five, Dan is sad at the beginning of the story due to what cause? Why is he sad? A, he's sick in bed with a cold. B, his best friend moved away. C, it's raining outside and he cannot go outside to play. D, there's nothing good on television. Drawing conclusions. This is like not focusing. Dan's mother said, see all those pennies in that big jar in the kitchen? How do you think those pennies got there? Why did they have them in the jar? What do you think? Write it on that line. Pause here. Write it. Hit play when you're ready to move on. Last couple questions. Seven. Why does Dan ask how long it would take to fill the jar again? So that the bank, he gets his money. Why does he want to find out if he can, how long it'll take to fill it again? A, he enjoys filling the jar with pennies. B, he looks forward to cashing in more pennies for dollars. C, he wants to please his mother. Or D, he wants more coins in his penny collection. Point of view. Eight, what point of view is the story written from? So is it first person, the bank tellers, Dan's, or third person? Remember first person's like I, me, third person's like they did this, Dan went to the store. Which one? Nine. How would the story change if it was written from dad's point of view? A. You would be able to hear only the dad's thoughts and feelings. B. You'd be able to hear every character's thoughts. C. It would show dad's feelings about events taking place. D. Prevents the reader from knowing what dad thinks. So it like, doesn't allow you if it's written from dad's perspective. Okay, and number 10, what is the first conflict in the story? It's like the first issue, problem. A, there are too many pennies in the jar. B, Dan is bored and there's on a rainy day with nothing to do. C, the bank will not accept the jar of pennies. D, Dan doesn't have enough money to buy ice cream. So what's our first problem? Finish that. And then you have your writing cause and effect. Look at this picture. <laughs> this guy is sitting on the end of the branch and he's cutting off in front of him. What's going to happen? <laughs> Write three to four complete sentences using cause and effect structure. Be sure to include clue words. So you could say, the man is cutting the branch. Because he's cutting the branch, the branch will fall. The man is sitting on the branch. Because he's sitting on the branch, he will fall. Okay, so come up with something like that using the cause and effect.
that is all that you need to do today. If you're needing help with the writing or anything else, just let me know. Um, but have a great day. Bye.